Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I want to get the overview, table review portion out of the way for the brand new Femi X8 Mini. If you are not familiar with my channel, or if you just happen to miss it, I did film an initial flight impressions video. It's relatively short because I didn't have a fully charged battery. And I did that a few days ago. So if you want to see how it flies, just some initial impressions of the camera and gimbal, go check out that video. But that's not the complete flight review. That's just to get it up in the air. Let's see what we think on initial impressions. So I'm going to follow that up now in a few days with a full flight review where I will test the camera out, fly it longer, and we'll get a better idea how it all works. And that'll be coming up to the channel soon, but it's really pretty windy today. It wouldn't be the most ideal condition to test such a small drone out side today so i just want to get the table review out of the way try to make this as quick as possible and then we'll follow up very very soon with a flight review and then i'll probably make another video testing out those smart features that this drone also has so this is a 250 ish or 50 ish gram drone this is a standard or regular version where they call it this has the lithium-ion battery this one is like in the 260s on weight let me show you guys here real quick while I got my scale out here. So let me uh, put it on top of the box and I'll show you guys th what this one weighs with the uh, lithium ion battery. It is going to come up it's 262 grams. So that's over 250. So if you, you know, if that's really important to you, then you need to wait for that pro version. It's got the, I think it's a lipo battery and that will drop That's a lighter weight battery. It will drop it down to, you know, just below 250 and then you're in compliance or if you're in the United States you don't have to worry about having an FAA number on it or spending that five dollars to get it that's a really only difference in the United States you have to buy by the same rules no matter if you're below or above 250 grams so very briefly I'll show you the box it, there is a red that they're gonna have available but right now it's just in white as far as I understand they've mentioned the 250 gram class let me make sure that my camera is focused in on that text 4K HDR video. I don't know if it's really HDR, but it's 4K at 30, 2.7K. I don't know if that's 60 or 30. I can't remember on that. But I know 1080p, it's 60. It can do. So if you like 60 frames per second, that's what you want to aim for. A three-axis mechanical gimbal, and the gimbal seemed really good for me. I didn't notice any shakes in my initial video or I told it to rise in, but we'll have to get it up, fly it longer, farther away, and see if that holds true in the future. 31 minute flight time, that's under ideal conditions, but you know, 25 or so I think would be reasonable to expect. Eight kilometer transmission range is incredible. Even if you get half that, that would be incredible for this price. Uh, because the Mini 2 is the only thing in that price range that probably can compare in terms of range. Level five wind resistance, it means it could handle pretty good wind, but being so small, above 10 miles per hour, even though it could, I have no doubt it can handle it. I feel it wouldn't be a very fair test. So even though it should have no problem in the wind today, I want to be on more, a little bit more calm day so I can be a fair test on normal flight conditions. But there'll be some wind. I'm not, I don't need a perfectly calm day. And a USB-C connector. And here's the package contents they show you on the side. So let's look at the drone, the controller, then I'll show you the accessories. Let's just get the accessories out of the way. You get, looks to me like you get two spare props for each clockwise and counterclockwise. I don't think that's a full set in there because these little swing open props. They give you three of these cables. I got one of them in the controller since I already flew. This is the connect OTG cable from the controller to your phone. You get a micro USB here. You get a lightning cable for your Apple, your iPhone devices. <clears throat> and then you have the USB-C, which I already have in here, which my uh, LG and my new Pixel 4a i just got yesterday that i'm filming this video with hopefully it turns out well um, uses usb c they also give you a phillips screwdriver if you need it to get you know since it's rather really small to take off these props and replace one and another usb c cable to actually charge the controller which charges down here i'll show you it's this port here and the battery on the drone in the rear the battery does pull out but on this drone USB-C here charges the battery. I'll show you. I'll pull the battery out. And this is a lithium ion. It's going to be really hard to read this, but it is a um, 7.2 volts, the two cell, 2400 milliamp. I don't know if the capacity might be different on the Pro battery. I don't know about that. 
but it should be about the same flight time but it might be a different capacity to get to that you know same similar statistics because i think on Banga they listed this battery as like a thousand milliamps bigger which could be just a typo or it could be that that's what the lipo battery uses and then you've got your micro usb card uh, micro usb micro sd card slot here and mine came with a 64 gig because i ordered one that came with that bundle and that was all that was available but your basic drone is not going to come with a card it's a 64 gig sandisk extreme and then i was mentioning why, why i was saying micro usb is there's some below the, the micro sd card slot there's a micro usb connector which they don't really tell you what that's for i assume that's going to be for doing some sort of connection directly to the computer to um like full flight logs or something off of it because firmware updates are done through your wi-fi to the phone and then the phone connection to the controller over to the controller to the uh drone so like dji you know a lot of them do you update the app will download it then it'll send it through the controller's connection to the drone and flash the firmware that way and there's a little toggle switch here and i don't know if that's to put it into wi-fi mode or what because in the app it gives you an option to be able to fly this drone wi-fi connection only which i believe is to just using your phone as a controller which i wouldn't advise to do so let's go ahead and i'll, I'll show you that there's a qr code here and that is to download the femi navi mini app that app is specific to this drone at least so far the Femi Navi app is like for the X8 and XASE 2020, the uh, drone. So you don't use that app. You just scan the code. And there's not much. The instruction manual is very basic. Some of it's in Chinese. It just tells you the basics. I mean, there's really nothing that I should go over there. This is just some more warranty information or something like that. So let's go ahead and fold out the props on the drone. And then I'll show you guys the drone itself. If I get here in a second, I'll hold my Mavic Mini up next to it so you guys can see. This, this does come with a gimbal guard that pops off here. And then there's your three-axis gimbal. Make sure you remove this tape or film, I should say, that's in front of the uh, camera so you don't, you're don't going to have a bad video if you leave that on there. Um, but it looks very much like my Mavic Mini. It's really lightweight and feels really nice. You've got a couple infrared um sensors here sort of like the mavic mini that's i think that's detecting the ground to help it see the ground and then you got an optical flow camera right here this little monocular camera and what this is doing is this is i imagine it would work for optical flow hold if it would lose gps lock but a lot of it is it's looking down for your helipad it looks for the round object i don't think it's looking for the h it's looking just like on the femi x8 SE um, 2020 and the original one looking for that round object and then it comes down and uses that for the um, precise landing and that's something you do need to turn on within the app this is your uh, battery power on and off and you can see I have a fully charged battery here so I'm good to go fly you do a quick press and a long press to actually turn on just one press just shows you your battery meter it's a really, really nice looking little drone here. And it just, it feels really nice though. It is rather fragile, even though it feels solid. You know, Marcus over at Idaho Quadcopter had his I mean, foot off the ground, hit the concrete, it, it, it dropped out of his hand. And it busted an arm and broke a ribbon cable. So keep in mind, you know, don't drop this thing. You know, it, when it lands itself, it should be gentle enough. There's no issues there but you know just be careful that you don't let this drone fall let me go grab my mavic mini here i got it right here so we can compare the actual sizes of these here's my original mavic mini and let me uh and here is you can see very very let me put the uh arms in on this and we'll compare them side by side they're extremely similar in look and size the battery just happens to be a little lighter you know it's a lithium ion in the original uh, Mavic Mini, so this is a uh, 249 grams, but we can see they, these are pretty much identical in many ways. A little bit different. This has the X8 Mini has some landing gear feet, where there's not any on the uh, arms here of the DJI Mini. I don't think I need to fold it out. You guys 
familiar with this drum, you can see they both have, look at that, the optical flow camera and the two IRs next to each other. The power buttons in little different spots with the four dot meter. Really, really similar. Both have a LED in the rear. SD card slots in the rear. A little different spot for them, you know, that charges through the drone with a battery inserted in the DJI Mavic Mini. And of course, you can pull this battery out, and that's what I did, and just charge it alone with the USB-C connector in the rear. So, all right, that's, that's enough on the drone. Let's look at the controller, then we can end this video. And like I said, we'll follow this video up very soon with a, a full flight review. So here's the antennas folded out. Of course, I got the USB-C cable in. Your phone goes in the middle here. I use it to put the USB-C into my phone because it's hard to get them to push in all the way, with, even with it seated in here. And then I press the whole phone into the... Uh, phone holder you got your control sticks these knobs come unscrew and they can be stored right in here so if you don't want to leave them in you can put them away and you got your return to home button to send it back home and land your power button here you can see I've got it fully charged I believe it's also a, a short and a long press to get it to come on it'll beep so you know when you do if not it, it could be just a long hold I think let's see yeah, it was short and long press, and then I think a long press will turn it off, I think. It may be a short and a long also. Yeah, short and a long, just like DJI, to turn on and off. On the rear here, you've got your photo button. Take a picture, and this is your video record button. Just tap it, and it'll start recording in the app. When you land this drone, like all the other Femi drones, it will automatically stop recording so you don't have to remember to end it. That's really nice. And then you've got a gimbal tilt, you know, and it's a pretty nice smooth gimbal tilt just to pitch the gimbal down and back up. And then again, here is that USB-C port that you would use to um, connect OTG and if you want to use the other cable, or if any USB-C cable will work as long as it's a charging, rated for charging and not just a data cable. You plug it in and you'll charge up the controller because of course it has a built-in rechargeable probably a lithium ion battery okay guys that was pretty basic the video here about 12 minutes that's long enough so if you were someone who's inter interested in this drone maybe you saw my initial video but you wanted to know hey, well what all comes in the box what should i expect is there anything i need to buy um the only thing i can think you need to buy unless you get the bundled version like mine is an sd micro sd cards um, if you get one like mine that came with one, then you're set. I didn't have to buy anything. But most of you will have to buy one. Just make sure you get one that's rated fast enough to handle like 4K at 30. They rate the bit rate like 100 megabit. Um, I think it was showing up around 80. I don't know if it's really going to do 100. But you need a pretty quick card, and this is a SanDisk Extreme card. Go with one of those class or higher to make sure that you don't end up with, with uh, glitchy video. Uh, it could be really, you know, it could be dropping if it can't keep up it'll stutter or it could get really grainy and just really poor quality so just keep that in mind okay guys that wraps up the uh table review for the femi x8 mini be sure if you're new to the channel you do click the subscribe button click the bell so you know when i new upload new videos you'll know like when i upload the next few femi videos and as always guys have a wonderful day the power of the dark side, 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 side.